Hey, what's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft. And, uh, well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little bit of, um, cabin fever. Or I guess, uh, technically speaking, it's more like, um, jungle ruin fever. Yeah, we've been hanging around here, around the jungle ruin, the last few episodes, and I'm... I'm getting some wanderlust, so I think it's time for an adventure today. I don't really have much of a plan, other than pick a direction and wander. <laughs> but um, there is a there's a couple of things. There are a few things we need to do today before we go, and one of them is to turn in turn these potions of healing into splash potions of healing because I think we're going to be taking a walk with the animals. And you know how my cat is. You know that darn cat, right? The one that Likes to jump into lava. The one that gets shot by skeleton arrows. And there's no way to heal cats up. Without potions. Um, so that's why I'm making these splash potions. Alright, you know what? I'm going to leave... Well, let's make up... Um, I'm going to need some fire resist potions too. Oh, that goes fast. So let's do that. Pop those guys in there, and grab one of these, and a fire resist magma cream. Oh, wait a minute, I don't have to do that, I already have some fire resist, yeah. Let's do this instead. Get G off! All I have to do is hit these with some gunpowder, yeah, that way we'll save. Um, Alright, yeah, there we go. Save that magma cream, I don't, I don't really need to do that right now. Alright, so let's put the water bottles back in here. So... Use those next time. I think a pair of splash potions and a pair of a pair of splash healing potions and a pair of fire resistance, just in case we get into trouble. All right, there we go. Now we'll put this one in here. So I'll bring two each, and I can of course heal the dogs with rotten flesh. This is what I don't understand. Why not make a way to heal cats? First of all, they have a lot lower health than dogs and wolves. So, why not make a way to heal them? I know people say, fish, feed them fish, heals them up. No, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that giving them fish just feeds them or puts them into love mode. I don't think that it actually heals them. And they have, uh, like I said, very low health. Um, so it has to be managed pretty carefully. Unlike dogs that have pretty high health and uh, just give them a little chow and they're feeling better. All right, I'm just going to work pretty quickly here so we can get on the road. Um, let's go down. Oh, wait. Well, I guess we can do this down here. I have another workbench. We're going to make up leggings. We're going to make some iron uh, diamond leggings and that'll complete my uh, armor suit of armor here. And I have 20 levels to spend, and I want to do that on this. So if you would please crush your fingers and your eyes and your toes. And anything else that you can manage to cross. And then when I find a 20, come on, we can do it. So close. We'll hit the button. Here we go. All right, ready? And a one, and a two, and a three. Bing. Protection three. Wow. Nice! Woo! Yeah! That's good! Oh, that's good. That is good. That's good for 20. I was hoping for... I know I get a little greedy. <laughs> I was hoping for, like, maybe a second. A second. Like, maybe... What else could you get, really? Well, I guess just thorns, right? Um, but if we, we, if we do a book down the road, maybe we can get, like, an unbreaking on there, too. So that's what I'd really like to find. Maybe find a book of unbreaking in a dungeon somewhere so that's what we're gonna go do we're gonna go we're gonna find a stronghold too soon um but anyway let's let's do this let's get rid of the bones here um by the way you can see that i've got two stacks of arrows two stacks of bones all from that uh, the new monster the the skeleton spawner trap that i made in the last episode which works fairly well considering i only i was only there for about 10 minutes um just tidying the place up and tweaking it and I, I guess we can run by it really quickly I'll show you what it looks like it is uh, it's a very basic trap but it serves its purpose well enough um, well enough for me and um, I needed to make it simple 
So I've been, you know, there have been a few comments like, Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Oh, it sucks. It's so inefficient. You can make a better one. Uh, yeah, I know. I know that. Uh, I'm well aware of that. So, but thank you for your concern. <laughs> I'm going to stick the beef in here. I don't think we're going to go trade today. Although, ooh, well. Yeah, suppose I could get like a... Uh, mm, and and, and, I, and I have Ender, but I would need more than one. Maybe go find a stronghold, you know what I mean? But the problem with those, you toss it up in the air and it disappears and then you're lost. So I need at least two, maybe three, before we do that. So anyway, I think we are ready to rumble. You guys want to go? Hmm? We've got Yukon, Maya, and Kuzco. And I think, get away from there. We'll go in this direction. We have not been, we have not been west, have we? No. Let's get one of these handy. One of those handy, just in case someone decides to jump in a pool of lava, which I probably won't run into. Um. Oh, did did you want to see the mob trap? So anyway, yeah, there's a little bit of criticism out there, but I don't think people really understand what the heck I was doing and why I did it that way. I, like, if you listened to me during that episode when I made the mob trap. I said it was for practicing because I have to do it. I'm doing a project for someone and it requires a simple, simple trap that has to fit on two pages in a, in a guide. That's so it's a, it's obviously a written tutorial and uh, this is effective enough. Two stacks of bones and arrows in about 10 minutes time. It's nothing to be sneezed at. Let me tell you. Particularly since I don't really use these things that often anyway, so I don't really care, but... Um, so there it is. I did a little bit of work here. I changed some things around with glass. We can go around the back side now. Got this over here, which we can store some stuff away. And uh, there we go. Welcome to the duck tank. <laughs> Ducks not included. All right, I think we're, we're good. And by the way, I also had mentioned that since I don't really typically do those kinds of traps things, and I was saying, well, yeah, because that's not my style of play. I like to go out and adventure and fight. You know, the courageous. There goes somebody again, falling down. That's the third fall in two days. We have really clean floors. They just got cleaned yesterday. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was saying, oh, I don't want to go through the jungle. Maybe we'll take a boat. <gasps> Let's take a boat. Boats are fun. I was saying how... Yeah, that's my style of play. And it's... Uh, you know, I go out and fight for my stuff. And I was being... I was being cavalier about it. I was really just being kind of facetious and silly. But, um... You know, somebody pointed out. Granny Gamer, once again. The wise woman. Ooh, hey. Do I haven't been down that hole yet. I don't know, um, had mentioned that, you know, some people have disabilities. Some people have certain challenges and limits um, to the way that they're able to play. I didn't mean to get out of the boat. And, uh, yeah, oh, I certainly agree with that. And, you know, you, you can play any way you want. Anyone can play any way they want. I'm the last person on Earth to criticize or judge the way anyone plays any game. Uh, particularly Minecraft, because if you <laughs> if you want to talk, I mean, look at the way I play. I play like a knucklehead, with, uh, role playing, and I just I don't like to build. You know, I'm not into it as much. So you know, that's my style of play, and I get criticized for it, and I have been criticized for it. And yeah, you know, I don't like it. I don't want to be criticized for the way I play. This is the way I play because this is how I enjoy it. And you guys have your way to play, and you play it the way you enjoy it, and um, no one should uh, should be second guessing or or telling you how to play this game and that's not at all what i was trying to say i mean you guys you know, if you have uh, and uh, but her point was very interesting that some people do have phobias they have fears of monsters and nighttime and um or maybe there's some kind of disability so the traps will help them accomplish things that they're unable to accomplish ah, 
with combat because of reflexes or whatever and that that really never occurred to me but um i'm sure that is true in many cases uh, so anyway yeah I, I wasn't i hope uh you know people didn't take that the wrong way but hello i'm not sure if i'm really truly going the way i meant to go but let's let's hop out here whoa dude is the creeper still on my tail i think so let's get out of here and let's um let's check the map i should have brought my compass i did not bring my compass that's the whole point of having a compass yeah that's right i get a cat and you don't whoa 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 all right, um, this is west, so we might have to cut in. I just don't want to travel through jungles because they're terrible to travel through. They're a pain in the butt. But I'm hoping to find some kind of... Um, I don't know, big ravine on the other side of I should get that apple. Now, yeah, I'm using my iron, and I have a tendency to preserve my diamond stuff when I can, because, uh, I mean, this is overkill in most respects, and I would prefer to use that where it's really going to help, where it's really going to count. Like right now, yeah, no big deal, we can get through here with iron. Ah, yeah. Jungles are so laggy too. Oh my gosh. It's raining now. Don't you shoot my cat, you. I don't want to go through this jungle. Get him, boys. Good job. Boys and girls, I should say. Um Look back to the river. Just travel down the river. River boating is fun. It really is. Let's let's go back to the let's go back to the river. Yeah, let's get back in the river. I think we should do this while it's dark. A nice evening river boat ride. Rolling down the bayou. Rolling down the bayou. Whoa. Guys, come on! Oh, desert. Have we been to a desert yet? Huh? I'm not sure what that means. Alright. And and look at this. Snow and desert together. Aw. How about a walk through the snow? Oh my gosh. Guys, seriously. This boat ride is not that fun if you keep getting in the way of the boat. Let's just hop out then. <laughs> I thought that guy had some kind of weird thing on his head. It was just vines behind him. All right, let's just pop out here and then take that. Come on, boat. All right, why don't we check out this desert? I don't know, maybe there's a village here or something? Get them, guys and gals. Get them, yeah. That's right. Good job. How are we doing on the tails? Everybody's happy? Good. Um, I'm just going to stop the recording and let this chunk load because the, when I'm running fraps and I go to new chunks, it slows the computer down a lot. So let's just let it load. I'll be right back. All right. That's all it takes. Just gives the computer a chance to catch up to me and there we go all right see now this is probably a good spot to use my diamond sword surrounded by monsters uh, there's a nice hill over there hey how about if we uh hmm well I suppose we could go over to the mountain we can get some emeralds in there that's an extreme hills yeah we're gonna use this now oh yeah bringing out the big guns we can find a uh, cavern over there. Ha <laughs> ha If we can find a cavern underneath... Whoa, this guy's tougher than he looks. Then uh, maybe we can get some emeralds.
I do like to explore deserts, though. This one seems kind of smallish. But the neat thing about deserts is you can find dungeons right on the surface sometimes. And you can get, um, you know, villages. So that would be kind of cool. I, I really... I knew it. I knew he was going to hit a dog. All right, here you go, fella. Who took that hit? You can't. There you go. All good. No. <laughs> oh, it was Maya. And Yukon's like, what about me? I'm hungry. I see light. Let's go check out that light. Stay away from the cactus, guys. There's some light. Bing. Uh, what did I tell you? Dungeon. Dungeon. All right. Cool. Sit, sit, sit. I got this. I got this. First we light it up. Then we'll head down. That ought to do. Let's make sure we don't get sneaked up upon. Oops, did I just knock that down? Alright, yeah, a little minor interruption. My wife. Hey! That's my torch! That's my torch! You're gonna burn your fingers! Shouldn't play with fire, sir! Alright, let's just go over this way. Put them down there. And. Alright, let's just dig in here. Just dig in. Told you, you're gonna get burned, you play with fire. Now, I don't think I really need a zombie dungeon for anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. <gasps> Fire aspect! One! Oh, yeah. I wonder what that would cost me to put that on there. It may be too outrageous to even consider, but it might not even be doable. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, my gosh! Infinity! Infinity! <laughs> this is why we go to the desert. Oh, man. All right. Feather falling is sweet. Another. I was going to see another saddle. And somebody's coming, so let's go deal with this. Whoa, my gosh! Oh, is that... Hello! Is that... Hey! Is that your head? Sorry! Oh! Oh, you dropped something. Dropped your beef jerky. Wow. Did you see that? I could use this feather falling. And I'll put that on my diamond boots once I get some. Now, I just dropped all the sand, didn't I? Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get out of here, I guess. I'll be dropping sand on my own head. There's more down here. So, we're going to have to do some exploration. That is faux show. Um, let's go grab this sand. There's some gravel down there. You can use a gravel express to get out. That was interesting. Um, yeah. I wasn't as cautious as I should have been. Hey, that was your friend's jerky. He dropped it. That was a good friend. Picking up his buddy's jerky just in case. He runs into him again. Now, what's down here? This is just natural spawn, I believe. Um, I'm going to leave them down there. Let's just get out of here. What don't I need? How about a single feather? And... Alright, let's just do this. There's no reason to stick around down here. I want to get back up there and get all those goodies. So we're going to have to do it like this. Okay. Dangerous place to be. So we don't want to go digging... Here, let's dig out this way on the rocks. Okay. Look at that. This is interesting. So the ocean can get rain, but obviously deserts cannot. Whoa! Ooh, you guys ought to get inside with me. All right, let's uh, let's, let's do this right here. First of all, why don't we get? Oh my gosh, so much stuffs. Um, I'll eat the bread. There's another 
skeleton. Now if we grab some of this stuff. Whoa. Um, shoot. It's not gonna work. Right, I'm gonna have to go down here and get some more stone. Um, anyway, so what were we talking about? <laughs> I am full again. I ain't gonna run, but let's just get rid of this stuff. Oh my gosh. Right, let's just put that in there for now. So this is kind of funny. Remember, I, I don't know if you remember, but we talked about the, uh, the mouse situation. My son's mice. Chief's mice. And, um... How the two of them had escaped. You had two. And then uh, we ended up finding one. Uh, one came back. So we um, ended up buying two new ones. And we got a whole new cage. Now this new cage is really pretty slick. It's like one of those big habit trail things. It's all plastic. And it has... Uh, it's got this... Um, like a sky dome on it, I call it the sky dome where they chill out. The little mice get up there and hang out there. It's up in the top. It looks like a big sky deck. So it's a luxury apartment <laughs> in the sky. And then there's a big giant plastic ball on the outside of this thing. Right? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Now it's on the very top, and they, uh, one of them in particular, there's one's cinnamon and the one's black. And this little cinnamon guy, I think it's Numbers and Nimmers, he named them. Chief named them Numbers and Nimmers. And the little cinnamon colored guy loves to get on the, uh, on the ball and run. Which normally wouldn't be such a bad thing, right? But don't worry about it. I'm going to collect all this stuff later. I just want to get... S semi semi secure here um which isn't such a bad thing because the other one had like a wheel on the inside all right so they love to run on wheels and they get their exercise and it makes sense come on inside guys although wait a minute there's still a little bit of a fall here let me just shore up this side um Darn it, we'll have to go down. Down this way, I'm gonna get some more stone. So, uh, yeah. It's not a problem having a wheel, um, because they like to run on the wheel and it's good exercise. But this one has this ball thing, right? So it's just a big enclosed ball. And the problem with the ball is the, the, the mice tend to poop in there. So when they're running and they're running and they're running and they're running and they're sweating and they're getting all good exercise, they're like... And then a little mouse turd comes out. Now, when it first comes out... It <laughs> this is getting a little graphic. <laughs> it's obviously moist. <laughs> so it doesn't make any noise. But it's still gross that they're running around in it, right? But it's okay because, hey, they're mice and... It's not my problem, but I and I can't, and we don't hear it. But when the little turds harden because they can't come out and they poop constantly, I mean it's like it's all they do. They eat and poop. I better do this too because these are dogs and cats and they like to fall down these. Um, so I mean that's like their favorite pastime, eating and pooping. So it happens a lot. So they're, you know, we don't clean it all the time. It's not, uh, you know, we don't clean it every day. So, sometimes at night, if there's a few poops in there, when the poops harden, the thing literally sounds like a darn maraca. So, they're running in the ball, it's spinning, and the little hard turds are like... It's a maraca! And it's loud. <laughs> so, what a terrible design! Who designed this silly thing? That's what I want to know. Come on down here, Maya. Good. Everybody else. Let's go. Come on, it's getting nighttime. Oh my gosh. Alright, so what you have to do is you have to walk over here first. Get him in motion. And then walk back. 
So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. So uh, every night before I go to bed, now the, this cage is now in Chief's bedroom. Because it was down in the basement, but he wa wanted to put it up in his bedroom. So when I go to bed, he's already asleep. And, you know, I can I go upstairs and I hear the maracas going. And I know that the little guys are running around in there. Um, so I pop off the, the ball and I empty it out <laughs> and then put it back in and install it. And there's a lot of little turds that get stuck to the walls of the thing too. Yeah. So anyway, at least it gets through the night without sounding like a maraca, but, um, it's still a dirty, bloody mess. Anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what's going on here. So, how are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, what are we going to do here? Um, well, I guess I don't really need to make that. I was just going to make some torches, and I think we might go down and explore a little more of that cave. There's some iron down there. So, I think I'll go get the iron and the coal. Um, so, why don't we go do that, and then... We'll figure out what we want to do from there. See, now it's night up here. So why don't we just put a few torches out around the sides. Oh! Hello! Where'd you come from? Came up from the basement. Bonk. Bonk. Alright, more dog food, I guess. Whoa! Alright, come on now. Alright, we need a perimeter here. We need a perimeter of light. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, it's an army. Holy, what the heck is going on? Retreat. 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 No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't go out there. You stay. It's all right. They'll be gone in the morning. Nice try, but thank you. I know you wanted to help. So, we're going to have to light this up, too, because it looks like that other zombie might have spawned from the spawner right over here. That's That looks clear. Okay. I think we're good. Whew. Dangerous out there. It's the undead army. And we'll get this stuff back in the next episode, and we shall apply some of this. Um, yeah, we'll use the diamonds to make up some boots, and we'll throw Featherfall on there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that fire aspect on that, though. It might be too costly. All right, anyway, I think uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Ow. Where is that? Is that in my eye? <laughs> all right, we'll see you all soon. And I uh, hope this army doesn't break through, because they are awfully close. And I uh, hope we can make it through to the morning. All right, we'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Vex is still down there. Oh, there's more than one alive. Come on, guys, just hide. What are you doing? Run, you fool!